happen. And what about this pace for Team Back Bay in lane number three? They just ripped their 15 and toes the bar. And it is an event record for the bubble team. Team Back Bay taking event number eight. In first place, Team Back Bay. Overall, by the males and the females, right there from Revive Ross and Back Bay. The first pair of females for Team Back Bay that were so strong in the gymnastics portion of this event. Once it down, it's going to be Back Bay in the yellow tank tops and Ross. Here comes Big Ross into the blue bottoms. But it will definitely be an event win. Team Back Bay in under 15 minutes is through a visit for one, and what a way to start the weekend. Hi, I'm Jessa. I am a... <laughs> I'm a where am I looking? Hey, I'm Jessa. I am a coach here at Invictus Boston and I am a former CrossFit Games athlete. I've competed in CrossFit for seven years. From 2011, I was down in the Southeast region. That was um, soon after I graduated school from University of Georgia, and that was my first regional competition. And then I moved back home to Massachusetts, and I've been in the Northeast region ever since. Um, so 2012 all the way to 2017. Um, within those seven years, I competed at the regional level all seven years. Um, went to the CrossFit Games three out of those seven. My first time as an individual in 2012. And then it got to the point where I just needed a break. Um, my body, definitely physically, physically my body was speaking to me and, and just telling me, you know, I you gotta calm down a little bit if you want to continue enjoying fitness in your later years. So I definitely listened to it. It took me a while, probably two years, to, to really listen to it. Um, but I did, I listened to it, and I, I took this past year off. Um, and. As soon as I made that decision, I realized how much I needed it mentally as well. Um, so it's been, it's been a really nice mental, mental break. Uh, how did I start CrossFit? Hi, my name is Molly. I'm a coach here at Victus Boston. So I started CrossFit back in 2010 in a gra our garage gym and just started doing workouts and trying movements, being bad at everything, not being able to do a pull-up, <laughs> and just um, going back and forth between running and yoga, playing soccer, and doing some workouts. And then eventually in the end of November 2010, I got my level one and started coaching at a gym that we opened up in Pennsylvania. I started, my first competition was at our gym in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. That was the start, that was my first competition. And then first experience at the CrossFit Games in 2013. So 2013 CrossFit Games was an experience of not belonging. Like didn't really believe that we should be there kind of thing. Um, Coming into regionals, we took third, but it was because first and second was so so far <laughs> away from us. So it's kind of just like we, you know, we landed in third place. So it was hard to accept that we were like good enough to be at the games. So it was a, a big learning process. We had a lot of um, issues come up before even going to the games. Um, so it was a miracle that we got six people together to train long enough to actually get ourselves to the games. My most memorable uh, competition experience would have to be 2017 CrossFit Regionals with a former Back Bay team. And it was kind of the culmination of the whole weekend of finally getting our like top podium spot and just feeling like uh, we finally were able to like execute and show that we actually, you know, we really did deserve like that top spot. I feel like every year 
prior to that, um, it was, and not just with Back Bay, but just in my, on my teams, it was just kind of like, always something went wrong. You know, there was six people on the team, and it's like, to culminate for three days, to not mess up and not have an inkling of a mistake, like we just were able to execute to a T, all six of us, like we all contributed, we all put together, you know, 100% effort. And just finally being able to say like we won the regional was a really cool kind of ending, I guess, not that I knew it, but ending to like my CrossFit regionals career there. Now I can see what I'm shooting for. Looks really far away because we're down here. So if you're grabbing onto the pole, arms extended, you're going to lift your legs and shoot the up, trying to touch the J hook. Right? So this is our modification to really get those hips to open at the top. Okay? So the transition, the transition from, from being a, a CrossFit Games athlete to to really not training at all was pretty tough. It was pretty tough the first few months. Um, I, like I said, the, the first reason why I decided to take the break or, or to stop competing was because of my body. So I wanted to just let it rest. And I had the idea in my head that I would just do that, just rest. And that wasn't, wasn't the smartest idea. I went from training for the games for seven years to just completely nothing and that did not help my body heal at all, um, which I think that was needed for me to understand the process that, that the body needs to go through to heal it. It just helped me realize that, you know, resting, complete rest, and I mean nothing, I didn't, I was, I had no motivation to do anything. I just wanted to coach and then get out of the gym, enjoy the day. Um, I realized that, that you're, you need to move. Our bodies are meant to move. And so, so within the past six months or so, maybe a little bit longer, I've, um, I've started moving again. I've started training again and I feel great. Um, and I've really started to pick up, pick up a lot of gymnastics. So that's, that's my background. I grew, up, um, I grew up from the time I was three years old all the way through high school doing gymnastics. Um, and I just kind of wanted to get back to my roots. It's something that I love. And from that, I also started to become really passionate about coaching gymnastics, um, specifically with our members here at Invictus Boston. I love coaching them. I love, I love seeing how, how doing gymnastics, right, doing it properly, doing it correctly, um, being aware of your body positions, um, not just when you're on your feet walking around, but when you're hanging from the bars, when you are upside down on your hands, right? having that body awareness, how that really helps you in everyday life, um, as well as the strength, right? People, they, they just get so strong. Our members are getting so strong from our gymnastics program. It's, it's actually, it's inspiring to me to keep pushing and getting stronger as well. Um, and so once I found that passion of, of coaching, coaching what I know, what I've known my whole entire life since the time I was three years old, that's really helped me make that transition from, from being an athlete to just being an educator and a teacher and helping people. So the gym series gymnastics seminars kind of came about with really just having more time to focus on what what we really enjoyed. All right, guys, welcome to our handstand seminar. Right now, we are focused on creating these gymnastic seminars, um, which I have found that I have a lot more time to do now that I'm not competing. I'm able to really focus on, on creating this content for, for anyone who wants to learn. Um, and it's been really rewarding so far. Um, seeing these people come through our doors and, and just taking a different mindset um, when they come in and when they learn from us. Um, Molly and I work really well together. Um, we've competed together in the past. We've competed on, on multiple teams together. And now we are, we're on a team again together. We're working together still, um, just in a different, different way. Uh, so now we are, we're using our past knowledge from competing um, I'm using my past knowledge of gymnastics from the time I was three all the way through high school. Um, and Molly, it's been really cool. We, um, 
I kind of made this duo where she is not a past gymnast. She did not grow up doing gymnastics. She grew up doing other sports, um, but she learned the majority of her gymnastics when she started her CrossFit career. And so we're actually able to bring kind of both sides. Someone who, myself, who grew up as a gymnast, um, that's just what I've known from the time I was three years old. I've had that, that core strength and that body awareness from the time I was young. And then we have Molly who, who had to learn that when she started crossfitting. And we've kind of meshed those together. And it's really cool when we hold these seminars, when we host these seminars, um, people can see the different backgrounds. And Molly can, can tell them as well. She can tell them, listen, it's not too late to learn this. You know, because she's proof of that. She's, you would see her do, do some movements and you'd have no idea that she didn't have a gymnastics background. So that's really cool for people to see that you don't have to grow up a gymnast to be able to, to build these strengths and, and be able to do these skills. We really came up with it, you know, both of us, yes, had a, had a little bit more time to kind of focus on something outside of, of the team and the coaching aspect and really just wanted to kind of try to reach more people other than just the membership in the gym. We really wanted to, to reach out to more people and hopefully continue reaching out to more and more people um, and just giving them the best, you know, the best ways and the best advice to gaining more really control of your body and control of movements that come along with kind of the, the gymnastics background.